Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The K-808 emerges as a novel addition to South Korea's armored personnel carrier arsenal, crafted by Hyundai Rotom to align with the rigorous demands of the nation's military. Its inception traces back to 2012, embarking on a journey of development to fruition. Sporting an agile 8x8 configuration, it was initially christened as the KW-2 before its metamorphosis into the K-808. Concurrently, Hyundai Rotom spearheaded the creation of the K-806, a smaller counterpart boasting a nimble 6x6 setup, formerly known as the KW-1. Their collective journey culminated in 2016 with the successful passage of stringent qualification tests, earning the green light for procurement. Anticipated to bolster the South Korean Army's capabilities, the inaugural fleet comprising 16 pre-production vehicles is slated for deployment in 2017, heralding a new era in military mobility. Full-scale production ensued in 2018, marking the gradual retirement of the antiquated K-200 series of tracked armored personnel carriers. A strategic roadmap outlined the phased integration of 600 cutting-edge wheeled armored vehicles into the South Korean Army's arsenal by 2020, encompassing 500 units with the robust 8x8 configuration and 100 units featuring the agile 6x6 setup. Beyond domestic deployment, plans are afoot to extend the K-808's reach to international markets, presenting a formidable option for prospective export clients. The K-808 epitomizes versatility, primed for deployment in rapid response scenarios and forward operations, while its smaller counterpart, the K-806, assumes the mantle of safeguarding rear areas and convoy protection. Forged from welded steel armor, the vehicle's hull stands resilient against small arms fire and artillery shrapnel with the front arc engineered to withstand impacts from 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. Augmented protection via add-on armor remains an option for heightened defense, complemented by a V-shaped hull designed to mitigate the impact of mine explosions. Inside, mine-protected seats ensure the safety of crew and dismounted personnel, fortified further by integrated NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Equipped with a shielded 12.7mm machine gun as standard, the baseline infantry carrier reflects a deliberate trade-off between firepower and cost efficiency as mandated by the South Korean Ministry of Defense. However, the K-808's adaptable design facilitates the integration of a remotely controlled weapon station or a two-man turret, accommodating diverse armaments tailored to specific operational requirements. Facilitating swift deployment of up to nine fully equipped dismounts, the vehicle features a rear power-operated ramp with integral doors for seamless ingress and egress, alongside roof hatches for firing and emergency evacuation. Technological prowess underpins the K-808's operational efficacy, incorporating state-of-the-art driver aids and cutting-edge systems to enhance situational awareness and maneuverability. Powered by a Hyundai turbocharged diesel engine generating 420 horsepower, the K-808 boasts formidable performance metrics, complemented by a sophisticated automatic transmission offering seven forward and one reverse speeds. Steering agility is facilitated by two front axles, augmented by a central tire inflation system and run-flat tires, ensuring operational readiness across diverse terrain. With a top road speed of 100 km per hour, the K-808 outpaces its tracked predecessor, offering superior speed and cost-effective maintenance, albeit at the expense of some cross-country capabilities. Despite its imposing stature, the K-808 demonstrates amphibious prowess, propelled by dual water jets for traversing water bodies with ease. This amphibious capability, coupled with a maximum waterborne speed of 8 km per hour, positions the K-808 as a versatile asset for riverine operations, surpassing the capabilities of its predecessor. Conversely, the smaller 6x6 variant foregoes amphibious capabilities, tailored primarily for rear echelon operations. Beyond its role as an infantry carrier, the K-808 platform heralds a myriad of specialized variants, including anti-aircraft configurations armed with 30mm cannons and command post vehicles. Hyundai Rotom's innovative portfolio extends to concept vehicles such as the Jupiter 120mm fire support platform, 30mm anti-aircraft variant, and 120mm mortar carrier, showcasing a commitment to technological advancement and operational excellence. That's all for now. See you later.